This is Twit. Uh, you're you're using internet on a boat. Uh, do are you using Starlink right now? Is is that your internet connection? No, I um I've been using the boat as, as a five G four G floating test bed for the last couple of years. I uh, all right. I've been working on devices like these. I'm not allowed to talk about most of that work, um, but you know I'm, sure. I'm hoping if if you get better. Uh, backstory, okay. <laughs> Let me get let me get composed because I lost my I lost my stuff on this one and uh, <laughs> so I had heard that, so I I had actually emailed Elon, Elon Musk back in 2013 I said hey we're going to fix Buffalo Are you interested in helping throw some cash in our direction you might have a better internet he said no I'm too busy with SpaceX and too busy with Tesla to even think about it. sounds cool and I'm like I'm a huge space fan and. Uh, and I said, Elon, it's okay. I forgive you for blowing up my satellite. So long. <laughs> I, I worked on a satellite a blazer, uh, and it went up on the Falcon 1's third launch. And I don't know. See, it was the greatest 160 seconds of my life before they mm-hmm. bumped it, blew it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but I forgive you. I'll go work on the internet now on my own. You can go solve the space program thing. We're, we're even. Anyway, um, and I'd heard that, that Starlink was going to use OpenWRT. So I, and they promised it was going to be low latency this and, and every, all these other wonderful promises they were making public. It's, like, it's OpenWRT. It's going to work. And I didn't care. I was like, I'm, I'm happy. And uh, so then I got a call from my godson who just got one. And he said, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out that they had as I don't know what they did they dropped and there's a crappy version of open wrt they were trying to use instead of the modern one they dropped that and they forgot to compile in fq cuddle and I got back traces showing that uploads had over 400 milliseconds of latency you know that's one and a half times around the planet okay <laughs> and, and you're you know, at the speed of your connection it doesn't need to be there we've solved this problem and it was really bad on the downlink, too. I forget what the number was, over 300. And the Wi-Fi at distance, again, distance, the inverse square law means the further away you get, the less signal you have, was over seven seconds. Almost all of our internet protocols were designed with a timeout of about 250 milliseconds before they start sending more packets. And I went up there and I did a string of tests and I tried to find a place on the website to like file a bug report, you know, hit yes on these two algorithms and put in another algorithm called BQL. And you will have the greatest ISP network ever. They're like one of the first ISPs to basically be Linux based. They were in position to just show the world how much better you could build the internet. And I, I, I wasn't paying attention. So I looked at the website, couldn't find anybody to talk to. And I said, screw it. I mailed Ben Surf. <laughs> oh, inventor of the internet. Can you, do you know anybody over there that could look at this? And he mailed, he emailed Elon. Okay, cool. That's great. <laughs> Elon, F. And then we had a really good meeting on the boat um, where we talked about the buffer blood problem. And they hadn't really thought about it very hard. They were very much layer two communication engineers and not internet experts and so i gave them the buffer bloat and beyond book maybe we could put that as the url buffer bloat and beyond.net uh which is how all of our algorithms documented and all of them published and they're all of apis in the kernel so i had a wonderful chance to 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 lecture them on this but i didn't have a whole lot of confidence that it had gotten through so i i uh started a mailing list this is what i do and i brought in everybody um some really all the founders of the internet um, that are still alive and, and coherent, um, Vint and uh, Dave Reed, who invented UDP, Len Kleinrock, who is an unsung hero of the internet, his books on Q theory, I, marvelous, brilliant man. All these people that have been around the original invention of the internet um, got them on this mailing list at bufferboat.net called Starlink. And we started typing in all of our advice in the hope that Starlink would listen. So this has been about four weeks now. And you know, I could have fixed this. This this is the Starlink router. It's run. It has a board. I mean, by the way, Jonathan, you know, wave your board. A board okay. totally supported by OpenWRT already works beautifully. <laughs> and if I could just drill into this thing or get them to cooperate with the open source community, we could have built made this thing a really great router in about ten minutes. 
well, four weeks have gone by, I think. And um, I have great hope. I really do. That that with a little bit of our input from the old farts of the internet, that they will put out an upgrade soon that sings and dances and, and lives up to their commitments and will be a better router. And uh, I've been recommending Cake uh, because that works best with uh, FaceTime and other things. Um, and uh, it's, it's totally different. But, you know, it, 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 all I had to uh, just get, get, get me into this damn thing and I can fix it for you. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> all of it. It's not just me. It's not just queuing. There's IPv6 stuff. There's Samba. There's all the wonderful things that OpenWRT can bring to somebody. You know, it's in Timbuktu. Matter of fact, this gives me another segue. Uh, so I, I, it would be really wonderful if I managed to annoy or at least help out. I really care about space. At least help them on their on their on their road to do that. And if I get a tweet back. You know, my boat needs a new motor. You know, any a, a card, Christmas, would be nice. <laughs> it, and then we can move forward on that. Um, but that gives me a really good segue, I think. Am I done though on this side? Good Starlink story, yeah. and it goes back to the right well, to repair. I, we need to work in cooperation to, to build a better internet. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say this. This is the this is the thing that's on the inside of that, and there is yeah. you're not going to be able to see it, but there's a there's a little tiny header there that if you have amazing soldering skills, you can solder onto and probably break into this. But man, that is way beyond the abilities of most people. And uh, I agree with Dave. You know, Starlink is still in beta. We're we're hoping. I think all of us that use it are hoping that some of these things get fixed and that router gets better because. Really, that router is pretty terrible right now. There, there's, there's a reason that the board from my router is out and not plugged into my network. <laughs> it doesn't do IPv6, and it's hard. It really is hard to make IPv6 work. So I want somehow for them to... Oh, Musk, Elon did one wonderful thing in the early days of Tesla. He took all the patents for the battery technology and said, here, this, this, this is your battery, this is our battery. Um, and he said, go use that. And my plea would be, please engage with us. The open source community, You're, and and we will help build help you build the greatest internet system ever, and get us humanity into space. We want to help. Please let us help. 